could you give any advice to aspiring collegiate tennis players um, about how to get a college tennis scholarship? Like, um, uh, like from a vantage okay, point yeah. of like, what do you, what, like, what are the steps you think you should take? Um, like, how do you approach it mentally? Uh, things like this, like the whole, the whole nine yards, like as far as getting the, a college yeah. tennis scholarship. Um, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, you know, you got to decide whether you want to go to college or not. Um, that's good. That's a good point. That's a really good point. You got to have your goal. I'm a, I'm a hard believer in, in goals, right? So, uh, having your long and short-term goals and not the goals aren't even the most important part. Uh, it's, it's actually like the, the process. Um, cause you won't get anywhere if you have goals and you don't apply a process, a system, but you will get somewhere if you have a system and not goals, if you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying. So like definitely put the system in place that will make you achieve those goals. And in this case, it might be, you know, either training a few, uh, certain amount of hours, more specific training on your weaknesses, having more match play, playing more tournaments, um, figuring out schools that can be very, I, I worked with a tennis recruiting program. Um, uh, 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 yeah, uh, a recruiting, uh, and us, U, USP, I think it was USP. They're, it, they, they help a lot, give you tons of options. Like you have like a whole college list. Um, it may be expensive. Yes. But, um, you know, so definitely I, I build, build a process um build the steps you need to take and other than that man for tennis improve tennis you need i feel like you know best way to improve is to surround yourself with tennis if you really want to improve you got to love tennis um read about tennis watch tennis you a hundred you a hundred percent of the time play better when you watch tennis it's crazy you know um you watch a match before a a, a ma uh you watch a you know a ATP match before your own match. For me, it helps a ton. Um, you kind of like kind of act like if you were a pro, or you you watch and you try to kind of do similar things, so you see how you know patient they can be in the long rallies. Um, so reading about tennis, like you said, open a great book, and it really I haven't met one single uh player really good player you know 12 utr or above that hasn't read about tennis um mm. or at least if you look at the higher levels 13 14 uh pro players they all have been reading and um you know something i wish i would have done before uh way before now mm -hmm. so definitely surround yourself with good people that you know will add you and not take from you um no all basic things but um definitely yeah i think those are great uh, great tips for for the future college players okay okay yeah that's that's all excellent stuff um yeah i think uh we're coming to a good um stopping point um before we uh close it down is there anything else you'd like to add like any words of inspiration to anybody out there, um, perhaps trying to improve their level, trying to play college tennis, trying to make big goals, um, anything you'd like to share? Man, I just want to say you're a great guy, Bryce. I, this, is, this has been amazing. Um, you know, the Tennis Journal definitely has something in it. Uh, it's good content, and I really wish you the best. Uh, we bumped into each other when we were studying. I was studying abroad. He's been working abroad for almost a year now. Um, and this, you're a great guy, man. I appreciate everything from all the talks we've had and the time spent over there. Um, it's a great journey, you know, enjoy, enjoying the journey, uh, having fun, definitely um, having fun. You know, there's... Uh, I don't know if you ever watched this interview. Fergus interviewed uh, Gabriel. He was from Adelphi University, and he said, "Success without fulfillment is failure." And Success I always go by that. I always go by that. You know, you 
you know, what does it matter if you achieve this if you don't enjoy it? Uh, what does it matter if you keep accomplishing goals, but you're not grateful for them and you don't reflect on them? You're just going to keep achieving things that don't have value, you know, to you. Mm. So definitely, you are, you know, I appreciate everything we've been through and um yeah and yes it's a uh, mobile <laughs> to italy and now yeah and now this so Gosh. um yeah um it's uh so yeah, i know that, this channel if you you know yeah. keep putting in the work and the good content it's it'll you know it, it'll it'll reach the people that it needs to reach you know mm -hmm. and i think that's such a good point too um you know like uh there is a uh, and I and I think uh, being devoted to your work is really important, and I think this that success takes that. But it's like also you got to think about like what is your end goal? Like what are you all? What are you really doing this for? Because then that's when you mm -hmm. can find the the real joy in your work, and then that's when you can be, you know, really really good at what you're doing.